This is the P12 from Viltrox, a lightsaber that belongs on the set of Star Wars. Come on, now it's got a ton of things it can do. I love it, it's robust, it comes in an epic packaging. It's white, it's nice to have something that's white. Everything else is black, black is my favorite color. It's nice to have something that's white. It has a bunch of versatile options you can use with an LCD screen, a USB charger. You have a quarter 20 on the front, you have a quarter 20 on the top, and it just has a nice grip, a nice feel to it. It also has the ability that you can turn it around so that's full light towards you but if I turn it around 180 it's full light toward me and there's a dark strip here and the dark strip's handy because when you're shooting in night and you want to use this you have to bring it down to one percent and have it facing away in order to get shots like this. Do that with a light like this all right on the back we have our power switch you press that down hold it down it turns it on you press it down turn it off the lcd screen is off unless you start to evoke it so it turns off after about 10 20 30 seconds and then when you press a button it brings it back to life so you can see what's going on so let's have a look at what's going on if i cycle through the menus we go from special effects through to cct we go hsi which is hue saturation intensity we have rgbw so you can control the reds the greens the blues the whites and the yellows in this light to exactly your specified requirement you can also plug it into an app and control it via bluetooth that's pretty cool, isn't it? If I go to FX, I scan through these by, that's my brightness at 100%. I can then go to speed of the effect and I can increase that from norm to fast to slow and I can change the scene to anything I want. There is a ton of different scenes as I'll just skip through these now. And so you can just, they're, they're all kind of standard on these lights. And basically, if you get a light that does scenes, it'll end up being able to do what you want it to do. And if you have any specific questions about the scenes, just let me know in the comments below rather than me boring you by going through all of them and talking about all of them right now. If I go to menu, I'm on PX. And the PX enables you to have pixel control. So you can control where the light is lit, how it fades, how it pulses, how you do all those things with the different effects that are available through here. So it gives you another level of versatility for the creative options you want, i.e. in a video, and you just want this sort of at the side, but creating an effect across me of whatever range, you can use the pixel effect or the scenes to do that. Or you can take it into your photography and start light painting with this this at night and creating some really great stuff. Now I go to CCT, which is 100%. I can go up to 8,500. I can go down to 2,500. And I can also turn my uh, reds and greens up or down right from minus 10 to positive 10. I can get out of that and go to HSI. I have full control through the color range. This is at 100% brightness at the moment. I'm just gonna take it down to 1% so you can see what that means. That's at 1%. So you see that? It's actually, you can use the light in normal daylight settings and it still comes up as a, as a red light, yeah? Then I'm going to go across to RGBW and I can change my reds and my greens. So if I change my reds and I turn my reds up, it changes the color. If I go down to greens and I turn my greens down, it changes the color. I can turn my blues up and it changes the color and so on and so forth. I can change my whites up and I can turn my yellows uh yellows up significantly and it just changes the color as I go through all these different options. And then we go back to FX. What do you think? What do you think? Is this for you? Like, it's a, I, I just love it. I've had these before, not from Viltrox, but ones from other companies, and they've died soon after. I've got a lot of use out of this already. It's very durable, and the packaging it comes in is fantastic. Instead of having to lug this around and risk damaging and breaking the plastic casing that it comes in, they send it in a tube, and the tube built in one of these at the end, so you can slide it in either way. You can put handle first or last, and you feel it lock in. And then you just secure it with the top. And it means 
you can roll it around without risk of damaging it. A little bit like what you saw at the start of this video. And then it has this lid. And so you have this cardboard like container that you can now carry it around in and it's safe. It's not going to break. You can store it away in this and pull it out when you need it. And it's really great for those creative elements you want to bring to your photography. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. You got any comments about this or questions, put them in the comments below. Really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. Love hanging out with you guys. And until the next video, I will see you then. Bye.